Hey everyone, we are here trying out Smoke up against Next Design. Our opening hand is not super, I don't think. We have draw, we have a cloak, have an SMC. I mm. think we mulligan, I think we want to find professional contacts early. This is good. Or maybe better. At least we can draw, we can protect tap room when we get it down. And we have indexing mad dash, so that's not terrible. Although SMC, probably more useful against the next design. Mm, mistakes may have been made. So I apologize for how erratic uh, videos might be over the next little while. I am going to Worlds and trying to balance my time between playing uh, recorded games and possibly non-recorded games. Who knows about all this secret tech that I've got going on. If only. Um, but yeah, things might be a little more erratic than usual. We shall see. So I'm going to try out Code Marvelous's smoke deck. Uh, I hear smoke is, you know, one of the identities to use at the moment. Oh, that's bad for us. It's going to be a nice on archives. Uh, but smoke seems good. And stealth seems good again. So we're going to give a bash and see how we get on. Uh, this, this, and this is always good. Always good to threaten early with self modifying code. And stealth kind of throws things through a loop a little bit. Now, we don't have enough money really. So if they go for a push now, we have to kind of leave a go. But we get a tapworm and two sacrifice constructs down. And that should do us for a little while. And I'm pretty happy that they're gaining a lot of money. So we'll draw, we'll run, we'll pop these down. And yep. So then, that'll be on the board for a little bit. So now we gotta find our clone chip, our restricted card, to get the self modifying code out again to threaten this remote and get our indexings, all that kind of thing going. So install, are we going to see advanced events? Elective upgrade, possibly. The question is now, can we find something in time? Draw, draw, clone ship run. Uh, it might work. We'd have to pay two. Well, we have to give it a go, I suppose. IP block. So that's going to be getting paperclip, which is unfortunately too expensive. So instead, we're going to have to take the trace, I think. So it'll be two. We can get this to get us to six, but then it's four. We do not have the money to install. So they are going to get to trace us. And this could really ruin our game. Kind of hoping for a Turing. Gonna make a trace six, uh, which we cannot do anything about. So a tag it is. Now, do they spend six credits and three clicks to trash all these? Uh, taking out one or two actually seems okay, but then again, if they give us too much time, we easily get in here for the elective upgrade. Oh, just global food. Well, that is really good for us then. So, let's see. We have to remove the tag at some point. Pop this, another stack on. Well, it's staying on the board forever, basically. Draw again, pop money, remove tag. And we can get rid of a slums. Uh, 
if they try and purge through all of these, we have the third in the bank at least. We should possibly use the clone chip for SMC right now. They're going to install a second ice there indeed. Now the thing is we can trace through this if needs be. Okay, well, we have Mad Dash as well. So I think we just draw up a little bit. Gauntlet, somewhat good. Draw again, paperclip, and run. Now, unfortunately, we only have one stealth credit available to us because we haven't found Netmarker. And Cloak is here. So, I think we do paperclip, ordinary run. I know we have Mad Dash, and I really want to use Mad Dash, but I can't quite guarantee that we'll get in either. I think we hold it for the indexing run. Just vanilla. So now we know at least. And we get ourselves corporate sales team. I think we can nearly get rid of the other slums. Like, I know there's advanced assembly lines and things like that, but there's less recursion these days. Although, third sacrifice construct, do we really need it? Mm, I'll go this, just in case they start trying to purge us out. Soon we can start thinking about indexing as well, especially with Naive. Not a whole light, lot of credits. Upgrade on HQ. <laughs> Suddenly I wish I had the slums. Are we looking at Stinson? Maybe. Yes, indeed. Well, they're going to get loads of money, but so will we. So it's not terrible. Now, obviously, them, them gaining 22 credits that turn, not great, but we're going to get 5 for free. Which is not too shabby at all. Okay, let's... Uh, Start drawing up a bit. Peace in our time can also help with that. Let's pop this down and pop this down as well. So it leaves us on six credits. And now I'm curious what they're going to use their 29 credits for. If they're playing something like punitive, uh, peace in our time, not as good for us. Gauntlet becomes better the more ice that they stack. So there is this kind of interesting weird balancing act in that we can give them loads of money with peace in our time. That actually works out pretty well for us. Uh, something like the gauntlet can really do some work, especially when they're drawing quite aggressively very late in their turn. Uh, if only we could find Netmerker, we'd be in a much better position, I think. So we're going to get six credits instantly. I think we just go for the indexing run instead. It'll give us some idea what they're up to, which is very important. So let's draw one. 
Mm. Uh, let's indexing. At least gain some knowledge as to what they're up to. Okay, we need to get our SMZ out and then get the dagger. And this is going to be boost. And then two to break. Not terrible. So we see two agendas and we can actually win here. So we'll put ultraviolet at the bottom. Let's put rotor turret. Actually, we don't have the stealth credits, do we? So we can mad dash. I think we have to put one of these further down. So we can mad dash and get the strength up. That's fine. So we'll put this fourth. Then you, you, and you. So, advanced concept, hopper, lateral growth, rotor turret, and another advanced. So we have to remember that. They're going to get this mandatory draw, maybe draw once, and this is at the bottom. And now, my dash. Take that, and let's go for one more. Ah, that's why you draw early. Every time. So had we put this down, it would have been a different kettle of fish. But I don't think we could have gone back in. So they get lateral growth. They install on ice. So rotor turret still at the top at the moment. Card goes in and they advance at the once. So that's going to get awkward for them. Um, we can give this up in the pursuit of money and draw and things like that, or at least money and uh, stealth box. I think we just do a semi setup turn in that we go to archives, try and get two stealth credits on Netmarker. Oh, that's going to be GG anyway, as a food is sitting in there. So, yeah, I'm struggling a little bit with Smoke. Uh, she's definitely one that I have to get used to, the whole stealth element as well. And as, as I've said in the past, Shaper is definitely one of my weaker factions. But it's an interesting deck. A tap room can do a lot of work. And I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching. And again, apologies for the staggered release of videos and things like that. I will try and get as many out as possible, but I also need to get some other games in and ones where I just have to concentrate on thinking as opposed to talking and thinking at the same time, which is possibly an Achilles heel of mine. Uh, but yeah, see you again soon.